Hi, we're at Super Return Middle East 2016 and I'm here with Jamil. So Jamil, how important are infrastructure projects in the MENA to the long-term stability of the region? I mean, I think this is a, we're seeing a big trend uh, in the region. In the, over the past five years, we've seen a lot of uh, hype around infrastructure transactions. Um, it's partly because of the over-reliance on oil as a major source of, of revenue for a lot of the GCC countries in particular, but we have a, a ripple effect on, on the uh, other Levantine uh, countries where you have big growth because of, of, of the oil, the high prices of the oil. And then, so there's a lot of employment in the Gulf. You have a lot of uh, expats moving from the Levant to the Gulf. So, and these people, they, they remit a lot of money uh, back home and that money is invested and there's a, there's a cycle behind it. We, uh, so that's, that's very important. Um, what we're seeing today is, is that reliance on oil hasn't been too helpful for a lot of these smaller uh, countries. And with the drop in the oil price recently, even the stronger GCC countries are suffering a lot, as you, as you, as you can see. So the importance of the uh, uh, infrastructure deal is to have uh, an alternative source of, of energy for the, for the region. And the, the important thing to note is that a lot of the countries are privileged with, the, with a lot of sun, a lot of wind, a lot of, uh, a lot of things that can be uh, used. So the uh, idea is to diversify. For a lot of these countries, it's very, very important. For the smaller countries, the importance it lies in finding a, a cheaper source of, of uh, energy and uh, not rely as much on, on what happens in the uh, bigger uh, exp oil exporting countries. Mm -hmm. And for the oil exporting countries, it's just uh, another way of, of, again, diversifying is, is, the, is the key word here. And just uh, uh, in case oil prices drop, they have uh, an alternative uh, uh, export um, alternative. So uh, it, it is, I mean, it is very important. I think the, at some point oil will uh, eventually dry up and uh, it's becoming more expensive to drill the, the deeper oil. So um, there's a lot of economics and social uh, aspects behind it. So in light of oil prices at the moment, how is government perception affecting deal flow for infrastructure investments? Okay. I think the, the key today is, is the oil price. Mm -hmm. um, when the oil price was um, north of $100, there was a, a very big uh, demand-driven uh, scale for infrastructure projects because they were more feasible to mm -hmm. do. So with oil prices high, you can do a solar, you can do a wind, and you can produce energy that is very competitive. Now, with, uh, and, and governments were excited to do these projects at the time. Now, with the, with the drop in oil prices, the feasibility of, of the, some of the renewable energy uh, projects, infrastructure projects, is, has been affected a lot. And this has affected the, the government's, uh, uh, some of the government's uh, willingness to sponsor and, and uh, these kind of uh, infrastructure deals. I think the, the, the wiser governments are focusing on the long-term uh, uh, importance of, of these deals. And again, the over-reliance on oil has to uh, be addressed very quickly. And we're seeing that uh, Saudi is doing that, UAE is doing that, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the other countries as well. So it is very important. Other infrastructure projects like uh, um, transportation and other things, the, the drop in oil prices has an obvious effect on, on government spending. So you, mm -hmm. you will have a decline. Um, and the only way that we this is being bridged is through um, private uh, uh, partnerships with, the, with governments. So uh, I think we're going to continue to see a slowdown in, in a lot of infrastructure deals over the uh, next couple of years. But I think as, uh, with oil prices, prices expected to move uh, up again uh, in the near future, I think we'll see a rebound in, in the appetite for uh, infrastructure projects. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Jamil. Thank you for having me. Thank you.